All right, so I figured I would post a video on uh, an update on my final fish stock. So these are all the fish that are going in. Um, I think I probably have it a little overstocked, but uh, keep in mind that the, the blue hippo and the Achilles in, in probably about two, two years or so, I'll be getting a much bigger uh, 300 to 400 gallon probably tank and it'll be fish only and they'll be moved over at that point so it won't be too bad but anyway all right so i guess we will start with the star of the tank <laughs> there is my tusk finally i left him for last because um, i was worried about the smaller fish particularly my two dotty backs i'll show in a minute um, but when i put when they were in quarantine i put one of the my splendid dotty back in with him and he tried to eat it right away. He was going after it. So I separated them in quarantine and I did some, some reading and apparently, according to what I read, um, the tusk is so used to anything you put in the tank being food that if you put something in after he's in it, he's going to try and eat it. So I was hoping that was the case. I put the dotty backs in after they were done with QT and I held him in a holding tank for probably an extra month um, just to let them find places to hide and, and get accustomed and I put him in. He's been in there for a while now and he hasn't even noticed the dotty back so I'm very pleased with that because um, although he is a prize fish they are awesome fish. Actually I think that splendid dotty back is <laughs> one of the coolest looking. I wish he got bigger but anyway that is my tusk and then we have the fox face uh, my powder blue is all healed up oh he's got a little nip on his fin but other than that he's pretty healed up he was getting picked on by the purple um, speaking of where's the purple oh we'll just go to ones with there he is my purple tang love that fish beautiful fish uh, and then the Achilles and the Blue Hippo. Those are all my tangs. Um, and then I got three of the Blue Green Chromies that made it through quarantine. I don't know where the other one, there's the other one. So three of those. Uh, my two Oscillaris Clowns. There's the pair. They're only out because they know they 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 know I'm about to feed them. Usually they're in the back corner there. Uh, and then we have my Coral Beauty, who I got the Coral Beauty with the most purple. He's got like hardly any orange. Uh, there's a splendid daddy back. I love this fish. This fish is so cool. I wish I had a decent camera that I could show off all the different colors in this fish and how cool it is, but uh, one of these days. So I think we, what do we got left? Oh, the two pajama cardinals. Or as my kids call these, the zombie fish. I don't know. I guess they do kind of look like zombies. And then I have my two Bangai Cardinals. And I believe that's... Oh no, and I also have a Neon Dottybeck. This is the one I was mainly... Well, I was worried about both the Dottybecks, but this guy I was worried about the most because he's so small and, and swims kind of weird. So I thought the, the harlequin would make a meal out of him, but he hasn't so far. I keep them well fed, so actually I got a lot of algae growing on the back of the, the tank and on the, the sand. I'm going to do a large water change today, but I wanted to get a lot of algae built up there because I have a um, cleanup crew in quarantine that's going in a couple conches and a couple more snails and starfish so I couldn't get any well 
I might try a hermit or two and sneak him in at dark and and see if the harlequin messes with them. But I don't want to. I don't want to kill cleanup crew needlessly. And so far he hasn't bothered the, the larger turbo snails, so which I actually don't see any in the tank, but that is my complete fish stock. I did an update on the sump. I did uh, take out the ATO that came with this and I put in um, I have a Innovator Marine 15 gallon. I haven't finished wiring in there, but uh, the sump is pretty much, I just need to get the refugium. I have the algae in quarantine, and yeah, I quarantine my algae. Um, anything wet, everything wet. So I went back to the filter socks after playing around with different media. Uh, it's they're, they're easy to clean. I got the, the 200 micron mesh uh, in the back, and then the, the, uh, what are they, the finer, um, I forget what it's called, but the, the finer material in the front. So I usually change out the front ones in a couple of days, and the back ones usually I'll last a couple more. Um, and I got, I got a, I had just ordered a bunch of filter socks, and I just change them out as needed. It's, it's easier that way for me than messing with other filter media, and it's, it gives me the best results. So that's really what I'm. I mean, the main thing for that is not really a. a I'm not really concerned with, with uh, taking out nitrate because my nitrate is so low, it's really, I need to increase the nitrate. Um, I'm more worried about the aesthetics, the look of the tank, and these, these keep the tank the cleanest and with the least hassle, so I'm, I'm, I'm fine with them. Uh, I don't know, back there I have um, my pump for my UV sterilizer, and I have two marine pure bricks, a bunch of marine pure bio balls. And then I have all my, uh, I don't know if I get back there, all my, uh, my probes and uh, uh, switches for, there's auto top off, and there's a switch for the auto top off down there, and the switch for the pump. Uh, and then over here, I've mounted, and I, I know it's still a mess. I got Velcro, I'm gonna clean up a little, little bit. and um, But for the most part, I mean, I've mounted all my I stuff on the wall there. It's kind of a hard angle. It's in the corner, um, but that's pretty much it. I got some cleanup still to do, and then I'm gonna put the doors on probably later today. So um, everything's going good. So I figured I'd give an update. We are almost to the point. I have my corals in QT right now, um, and I think the first few I'll probably be putting in next week. So. Uh, we're moving along. I did, excuse me, this room is a mess because I have so many things under underway right now. I did clean out my final um, quarantine tank, which was a holding tank, uh, and I had rock. There's a whole bunch of rock in here I got to figure out what to do with. And then this is the ATO for the, the Red Sea. And this was my last... Uh, quarantine tank that I actually turned into fresh water. I know it's a reef form, sorry I won't spend too much time on this, but I think, I mean, the 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 wood in there isn't, that's not the way it's going to sit, but I just had to put it there because that's the only way I could hold it down with a rock because I don't boil the wood or anything. I just let it sit in the tank until it doesn't float anymore, which usually takes a month or two. Um, so. I got a whole bunch of different tetras. I'm not going to go into much detail, but that's what I did with the the quarantine. I bought a bunch of quarantine tanks for all my saltwater fish, planning on on, on turning them uh, into fresh water or hospital tanks. So I'm going to keep two of them as hospital tanks in case I need to do anything. And this one turned into fresh water. I have an invert QT and a, a coral QT still. So, but that's. And again, sorry, the room's a mess. I'm just doing so much. It's kind of hard to not have clutter everywhere. But that's that's an update. I just wanted to get that get that posted. So let everyone see my final fish selection and how they're all getting along together and how the tank's coming along. So hopefully I'll have another update next week with some coral 
and I'll, I'll have the doors on by then and all that stuff cabled and, and, and tidied up. So anyway, that's it for now.